Well, I'm Jenna Ray, uh, obviously from New Country 105.1, and thank you all for being here. Now, I know that you know who's here, so I'm just going to bring him out without further ado. Let's give it up for Tyler Rich. Get on out here. Hi. Hello. How's it going? It's uh, going good. Now, how's it feel for you to be back in your old stomping grounds? Amazing, as always. Oh, Yeah. Feels so, good. How you guys doing? Um, you have been popping up in my feed for like Instagram and social, all the social media sites, Facebook, Twitter. Everyone here is like totally rooting for you. So how does it feel to have all of that support and see it on everywhere? <laughs> Man, it's just amazing. It's just every day it keeps getting better and better and better. And I mean, we're out here doing this just you know, promoting this music and going crazy. And every time I get to come home, it's always just the biggest, most warm welcome in the world. And I love you guys. It's amazing. Aww. I know. I kind of feel like I already know you because it's like people I know, they're like, here's Tyler. He's doing so good. We're so proud of him. I'm like, yeah. ah, that's fun. Um, so obviously, Yuba City. Yep. Now, whenever I go home, I'm from Indiana. I have to go to like one or two places every time. My favorite restaurants. My mom always wants to go to a certain movie place. Are there any places in the area that you just have to go to when you're here? So when I come to Sacramento, one of my first stops is Gunther's Ice Cream. Oh, Always. yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, uh, and when I'm in Yuba City, one of my first stops is Brock's Ice Cream. Uh, oh, so you're an ice cream guy. That's what I'm getting here. I'm addicted. Um, anything sweet. And yeah, those are good spots. Casa Lupe is a great re Mexican restaurant in Yuba City. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Someone over here is loving it. <laughs> There's chickens outside, which is weird, but it's cool. Yeah. Well, if you ever get to San Francisco, Portland, LA, you have to try Salt and Straw if you haven't been. It is the best ice cream in the whole world. I'm excited. So salt you can, and straw? yeah, Salt and Straw, you can quote me on that. Now, you picked up the guitar for the first time around 14, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you remember one or two of the first songs that you learned how to play? Yeah, the very first song I learned how to play was Stand By Me. Um, the second song I learned how to play was Friends in Low Places. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and now, Tom from Pat and Tom mm -hmm. told That's me to dude. ask you. <laughs> That's my dude. He wanted me to ask you how influential he and Pat were on your upbringing, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Just tell him I said Ben Affleck. Okay, I will. I don't know what it means, but I'm going to do it. Um, but he said that you and John Party are pretty close. Obviously, yeah. we love John Party here, too. Yeah. Now, have you learned anything from John or got any tips from him or anyone else so far along your career that have really helped out? Yeah, um, man, Dustin Lynch, John Party, and Garth Brooks, actually, which is incredible to even be able to say. Uh, just three champions in my corner since I moved to town for the past three Aww. years. Help me out anything from just simply getting me meetings to take me on the road and shows and to just, you know, simple advice. What John always told me is uh, just be nice to people. Be genuine. That helps. <laughs> yeah. Have relationships with people and uh, genuine real ones. And just, yeah, just don't suck. <laughs> be nice. Don't suck. I think we can a lot all of people suck. take something away from that. <laughs> all right. And last but not least, obviously... You have a brand new single, so why don't you tell us about that, and then maybe if we can expect an album anytime soon. Yeah, as far as the album, I've uh, been working on it nonstop as far as writing songs like crazy. We've recorded about half of it so far. It is quite a process. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, you know, it's, it's been a fun process of playing, writing songs and then taking them out and playing them and seeing how they work and figuring out what we want to put for the album. And, Hoping for something soon. I wish I had even an estimation. I don't. Uh, but new music is coming out soon, not only just the single that it already came out. And the single is available as of two weeks ago. And it's doing really well. It's been exciting. And I'll tell you all about the single. Well, I guess, you know, if you've already heard it, it's just, uh, you know, if you're sick of an ex and you found somebody that made a difference in your life uh, or you're looking for that person that's going to make a difference in your life, it's just, it's just a happy love song. 